Look, I knew that AI would get to this point someday, but I didn't know it was here now. It's called the Deep Agent from Abacus, and it can actually do things instead of just plain old chat. So in this case, we're able to build projects, build applications, websites, books, PDFs. It can actually search for flights for you, go through your email, respond to emails, and it's like a real agent doing things. So forget about just chatting with AI. It's time to do things. So let me show you what I'm talking about. Hey, what's up, everyone? So this is Abacus, and we're going to check out the Deep Agent, which they are calling the God Tier General Agent. Why? Because it could do a whole bunch of things. Now, it might sound a little bit broad, but it's actually true. It can do a lot of things. Like I mentioned before, you can build an application, a website, a book. You can even go through your Gmail, which I'm going to show you on this video, and it can actually read your emails, tell you what they do, if, they, if they're spam, if they are important. If you want to respond to them, you can do that with this, okay? So let's get started with Abacus. So once you jump into Abacus, now here is the main chat section. So for what you're used to most of the time, just chatting with different LLMs available here, just go ahead and select them there. But the real juicy part about this is the Deep Agent, and I'm going to select it right here. Once I select Deep Agent, I'm in the Deep Agent section. Right now, it's currently in beta, and what it can do right now is crazy. So if this is in beta right now, I'm wondering what it's going to do once it's out of beta, all right? So first off, you got some quick options here that you can check out in case you want to use this for your test. Let me show you a few things that I've done already before I show you how to actually do something, all right? Because it's, it's just easy. You just tell it to do it and it's going to do it, all right? So for example, I asked it to find cheap flights from Mexico City to Madrid, Spain, all right? So it went through the website, it went to Google Flights, it added dates, it did it automatically, it selected two people, it added no more than one stop, everything that I wanted, it just did it for me without having to do this manually. So at the end, I got the results. So here's option one, which early June, I told it I wanted the June, right? So here's the dates, here's the departure date, the return date, the approximate price for two passengers, that's the price per passenger, and that's option two, three, four, five. And this was done automatically for me just by giving it two prompts. I mean, I told it, find cheap flights for me from Mexico to Madrid. And then uh, it asked me a few things and I responded this. So when did I want the flight? Was it round trip? No more than one stop and two passengers. That's it. And it did everything for me. All right. So that's one of the things that I've done here with it. I've also created a simple Sudoku game here. And if I want to relaunch this, let me click preview. You can actually watch this as it builds. You can go ahead and actually view it because it kind of it hosts it for you. So you can actually start using it. Go back to the chat over here and tell to fix things, change colors, change things, fonts, etc. All of that can be done over here. So it's really awesome that we can do all of this here in Deep Agent. Once you're good to go, you can go ahead and deploy it. So let's wait for this to kick off. OK, here we go. And here is my Kawaii Sudoku. So I got a simple game here that I can start playing with and I can go ahead and modify it over here. All done with a deep agent. So I didn't have to write this. I don't know how to do games. I don't even know how to code, but this is going to do it for me. And if something is wrong, I can go ahead and fix it. If I want to change colors, I can do so. And there's a bunch of things that we can do. Now, in this case, I want to show you a really cool use case where I can use deep agent to do things for me on my Gmail. So here's a quick example, connect to Gmail and do it. So I'll go ahead and try this out. It's going to connect to my Gmail and summarize my activity in the past day. Now that's like a quick prompt, but I can go ahead and change that prompt to something else. Maybe do last week, maybe do last year and see what's going on last year with maybe analytics or whatever I want to do with it. OK, so let's get a few seconds and I'm going to connect to my Gmail in a bit. OK, so the deep agent just asked me a few things. So what summary am I looking for from the past 24 hours? So 24 hours, all right, and find promotional emails. And it's also asking, do you want a summary of the presented? Yeah, give me a summary, all right? And I also want to know total amount of emails, all right? So I want to know how many emails was total, just general things I want to know there. Now, previously to this, I've already connected to Gmail. If not, it'll just be a click of a button and it'll connect to Gmail. So you got to give it access to Gmail, all right? So that's something you're not going to view here because that's already done, all right? So currently this is working and it's, it's now computing. And what I can do is, as you see right now, I clicked on show for the computer and it's going to show me what it's actually doing. So it's writing how it's working as like a real human, but it's actually deep agent doing the work, right? So let's give it a few seconds. Okay, so here we go. We got the results. Gmail activity summary past 24 hours. The email received. That's something that I asked. 
email sent, total email activity, promotional emails, just two of them. And here's the received emails. So I got the, the subject when it was received and a snippet of it, right? So here we go, six emails for that, the sent email, promotional emails, important start emails. So there's no important emails in the past 24 hours. This is just a test email that I use. So there's nothing important going on there, right? Um, analysis and patterns, here we go. All right, so that's just something basic. So, okay, it read the email, who, who cares, right? But you can do more. So how about we want to get a summary, give me a, a reply for the past five emails. So let's go ahead and ask it to do that. Okay, here we go. So I wanted to write a reply using AI for the past five emails. So I didn't say specifically what emails, but I can, but in this case, I just wanted to write for the past five emails. So it's now gonna do its job. Let's go ahead and wait for it. And once it's done, I can actually tell it to send out these emails for me. So it doesn't just stop there. It's practically endless possibilities of things you can do with Deep Agent that's gonna work for you. So let's get a few seconds for this. Okay, it's now done and we got the results. So here's some of the replies. So here's one of them. Hi, Thomas, here's the reply. Uh, to reply to help scout like i just these are random five emails that i received and it wrote for me the email i can decide which emails to send out or i could just tell it to send the reply to all these emails so i'm just gonna say i'm gonna reply to one of these um this one all right so only reply email number five for me all right here we go and it's actually gonna go into gmail it's gonna send out that email i don't have to do it manually so I don't have to go ahead and copy that and go ahead and paste it on my email and send that out manually. No, this is going to do it for me and it's going to take a few seconds for this. So let's wait. There we go. It's now been sent successfully. So it now replied to that email for me automatically without having for me to do it manually. So just like that, you can see how easy it is for this to start working for you. Now you have several examples here of what you can do. For example, if I want to find for flights, okay, so let's try that again, but with you guys, and I'm just going to let you see how it starts working so you understand what it can do. Okay, so let's go ahead and kick this one off, and I want to find flights in July from Mexico City to Paris. So it will first ask me the like first overall questions that I need. Here we go, and I'm going to respond, and it's going to do its job. So do you have specific dates? I'm flexible. All right, here we go. The next one will be how long do you plan to stay? It's okay. So seven to 14 days. Do you have any preference regarding airline flights times? No preference. All right. And are you traveling? I don't know. So it's three travelers. And do you have any baggage requirements? One check baggage. So let's kick this one off. Here we go. And it's going to get started. Now it will take a few minutes for this to do its job because it's going to search for several days several airports, cities within Paris. It's just going to do a whole bunch of things that is going to do it for me. I won't have to do this manually. So let's let it do its job. All right. This is so cool. I'm just going to step in a bit and you can see here, search it in Sky Scanner, Kayak, Google Flights, Mamondo, and somewhere else. All right. And it's doing it automatically for me. So right now I'm not typing anything. I'm just waiting for this to be finished and automatically as a human per se, it's going to type in here, Mexico City. You can see it's going to do it for me. And it's going to write also Paris. And it's also going to select the amount of people. I don't have to tell it where to click. I don't have to tell it anything, right? So here we go. It just wrote the city. It's now going to write Paris for me. You can see over here on the left, it's telling you kind of the things that it's going to do. All right. So it knows here it is Mexico City, where to Paris, France. And it's doing this kind of manually, but it's actually deep agent doing its job, right? The departure uh, date that it's going to select. Here we go. It's going to select in July. Now, as I mentioned before, the dates are flexible, so it will search several dates for you automatically to give you different prices, different options for July in this case. Okay, here we go. Here's a tricky one. So Skyscanner is asking if it's a real person or not. Will it do it or not? It's actually like thinking I need to hold the button. Let me continue holding it. Oh, snap. I think it did or it just jumped. Now I'll release the mouse button. So maybe it did it. Maybe not. I, I don't know because it just it skipped the tab, but it actually knew what it wanted 
and it did it. So it knew it had to hold it. So maybe it went through, right? So it's doing its job now with Kayak. It's going to search it. And all this is manually. Now, we're not going to wait for this to be finished because this will take a while. You can see here that's going to do everything manually as you would be doing it normally if you were a human. Jump into the tabs, checking for flights like you would do it normally. And this is going to be done automatically. So if you have someone that needs to search for flights, if this is your job, if you just want to do this as a hobby, this is going to do it for you finding flights. So there's a bunch of things that you could do with a deep agent. So it, if you want to jump into a site, make it do something in the website, it will do it for you. Just tell it what you want and then it's super smart. So definitely give it a try. Remember, it's the Abacus a deep agent section here. And don't forget, they also have the chat LM feature here, which is like having all the bundled AI into one. So you got chat GPT, you got Claude, you got Gemini, you got deep seek, Grok, and a bunch of these that you can start using right away here on their chat system. So you got that and you got your deep agent. So definitely give it a try. So jump over to the link in the description and check out the deep agent from Abacus. Trust me, you won't regret it once you start using it because it's going to save you a lot of time. So give it a try.